then we should be able to bring that back. Go over here. Pick up some more hack silver. Freeze this. Yeah. Atreus, don't get too close to that. What are you doing? Alrighty. And then should just drop down. Okay, so here we go. Now here is that like worm enemy. This is where it's gonna come into play. Yep. You just want to keep on trying to throw your axe, taking it out. There we go. See, it should be too difficult. Just immediately take your <laughs> axe back out. Wow, really? You're standing right in the middle of that? Wow. Um, okay. Anyway. So, after that is done, <clears throat> you'll see this uh, chest here with this weird glowing mask thing in front of it. Why are you still coughing? I mean, if you want health, which I do need health, go ahead and get that. Remember, you can do this. Can't really read this just yet. All right, so with that frozen, come here to the chest, press circle, and this is called a cipher chest. There we go. And it's, we're gonna get a- It's a fragment of a language cipher. We should look yep. for more like this. <laughs> Yeah, it's called a Muspelheim Cipher Piece. So we, one of four we have found, and that will help you know, him read. All right, so after we got that, with that still frozen, what we want to do is go up this wall right next to it. And of course, oh, he'll hop on our back. What were those things? Thankfully. They smelled awful. Your mother called them scorn poles. Poison magic. She was the one who showed me how to disable them. <laughs> what? It's just funny to think of her teaching you something. Yes. Hmm, absolutely. And here we are, through this doorway. Whoa. Sure is foggy here. Another door. Should we... No. He is of no consequence. Uh, excuse me, but, um, how did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. It was one of ours, but, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See, the woman we made it for, I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that you did something to her <laughs> it was my mother's she left it to father before she died face dead I'm very very sorry to hear that she was a fierce warrior and a good woman Okay, I will make improvements to the axe. But nobody asked you to. Well, it's, it's true, but but knowing your mother, <laughs> she would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my brother. I knew it. You are Brock's brother. The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah. But can you... Can you put it down over there? That handle is... No. There? Filthy. Okay, then. I'll just... I will just... Oh. 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 Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. 
So, what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. <laughs> all right, so this is Brock's brother, Sindri. A uh, bit eccentric, I suppose. So let's check this out real quick. So Sindri's also a famous blacksmith, but he and his brother are really different. Sindri really doesn't like dirt and grime. Weird trait. Yep, for a blacksmith dwarf. But he's just as talented as his brother. I wonder why he, they don't get along. Hmm, that is something that's I'm curious about. Uh, so, yeah, map markers. Yes, I know about map markers. Thank you. Okay, so press L2 or R2 to show map markers by category. All right, press R3 to cycle between actively tracked map markers. Sure, not yet, though. Anyway, so this... I don't think there's anything new here, just, yeah, shows what I've equipped, accomplished, yep, exactly. Yep, nothing really new here, just that, yep, just to get rid of that. And this is basically oh, another, like, rock shop. Oh, resurrection stones are now available in shops. Uh, resurrection stones can be purchased, so our treads can revive Kratos from death. Press right directional pad to enter the buy section of the shop. Hey. So, if you want a resurrection stone, um, there are different types of resurrection stones, but Atreus can only carry one at a time. To purchase a different type of resurrection stone, you must first remove your equipped one. Use it in combat or sell it at the shop. So, yeah, just in case, let's do it. So a magical stone that revives Kratos from death with a small amount of health. Press square when Kratos dies to allow Atreus to resurrect him and rejoin the fight. Only one resurrection stone can be carried at a time. Yes, I know that. You just mentioned that. Haha. <laughs> a purchased resurrection stone will be displayed here. Okay. Awesome. And that should be it. Right? Yes. Like I said, everything else is pretty much the same. So we need one frost flame in order to upgrade the leviathan axe which we don't have uh talon bow and what can i do for you you too now be prepared for a fight coming up here so let's see like i said just continue following the marker you'll see the health around here follow me atreus again don't take it just yet okay You want to take these guys out? That's possible. Ooh, whoa. Yep. There we go. All right. So after taking those things out, <laughs> yeah, after taking those things out, just go ahead and uh, stock your health if you need it, or restock, you know, reheal. <laughs> Alright, so tasel worms. Uh, it's part lizard, part cat. A lizard cat. <laughs> or a cat lizard, or something. Uh, either way, the combination is pretty weird. They like to burrow underground to close the distance between them and their prey. Their claws and teeth are extremely sharp, but it, it's that poisonous barb on their tail that we really need to watch out for. When father throws his axe at a tasel worm, as it burrows towards him, it'll pop out of the ground. Yep. Okay, so now that we are done with that, we are gonna continue on over here. Gonna get this other little health stone. And you'll see this red flag. Oh. Well, you we do need to clear the area of enemies first before we do any type of exploring, obviously. Wait, where, where are you at? Oh, you're up here. There you are. Yep. Just kind of aim a little high. There we go. <laughs> Dang experience acquired. Haha. <laughs> Got the red flag. Make a right here first. And you'll see another runic chest. Okay, so when you are ready to go for this, all you have to do... 
what makes this a little different is that you have to hit these things to um, change, as you see, the symbols to match with what That's shows nice. on the chest. So just kind of trying to remember what those two symbols look like. And then this second one will be right here. Yep, already got that one. There we go. And then the third and final one will be up in this area. As you see, it's covered by the poison thing, but you really shouldn't have to worry about that. Really, I think you should just have to hit the second one twice, I believe. If you need to see, just kind of stop it to kind of make, take a look. Yep, and it's the symbol that we need. Before heading back, pick this up for a little bit of hex silver. And, yep, there's another chest there, but we won't get to that yet. Let's go ahead and head up to the runic chest. Which you can see is now open. So this get it should be the Horn of Bloodmead 2. Yes, two of three horns have been obtained. And that is it for that bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back to... Uh, uh, let's see. So you'll see this uh, ch chest here that we passed by a little earlier. What we want to do is you'll kind of notice that here is the uh, poison trap pot thing. The magical pot. As as Brock and Sindri? No. I wonder why they don't get along anymore. I mean, they're family. That is their matter alone, boy. Okay. Exactly. So, yeah, make sure you freeze that, and then we get open this. And that will give us the Arcane Waste Guard. Hey, Runic Symbol on this simple armor increases cooldown. So let's view it in the menu. So, yep. Free thing. So let's equip that. Perfect. Awesome. Free upgrade. Love it. I almost forgot to step out of that. <laughs> All right, so we have that. And next we are going to go to the slip with the red flag, but this time we are going to head left. Uh, make sure to pick this up for a little more hack silver. Okay, so before going up there, just come over here to the ledge and smash the crate to get some hack silver, and then we can head up the wall. So climb on tell. up. Are we getting closer to the mountain? We are. All right. Now you'll see some more of these uh, magic poison things. Freeze them up. Where are they called again? Oh my god. Oh great. So go ahead and just kind of make your way through the first one. Bring your axe back. Right there, Atreus. Where you at? Did not make it through? Okay, there we go. I thought you were, like, walking into all of it. Okay, so he wants to go that way, so, of course, we're going to head this way first. Did you see that chest over in the uh, foreground there? We're going to get to that. All right, so freeze that, and you'll be able to... <laughs> uh, this should be actually some arcane bracers now. Wrist, uh, so, yep, wrist armor, and you'll see the kind of changes it makes depending on what you've purchased before. Uh, it'll add to the cooldown and defense, but take away my strength. So, I could keep that... You know, keep what I have now or change it out. Um, you know what? I think kind of want to keep my strength up right now, so I'll leave it as B. I'll leave it B, I guess you could say. Now, you have to just have to hit this one again to head back over. And this time we'll take the next fork. <laughs> 